First tonight, an alarming number of COVID cases at a Rhode Island prison. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. Tonight we've learned there were 600 positive coronavirus tests at the ACI during the month of November. More than half of them were in maximum security. 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt spoke with the director of the Rhode Island Department of Corrections about the rise in cases and a former correctional officer about how difficult it is to contain the spread at the prison. Rob? Shannon, the director of the ACI, says day-to-day -day operations have changed because of the recent spike. Advocates for the inmates say that those who are eligible should be allowed to be released because of the virus. The number of coronavirus cases at the ACI is staggering. 488 prisoners and 112 staff members testing positive just in the month of November. Director of the Department of Corrections, Patricia coyne Feg says safety protocols have been implemented. On my watch, I don't want anyone to have a bad outcome. And so we're all working really hard to make sure that that doesn't happen. ACI now has restricted foot traffic, positive cases are medically isolated, and testing for inmates has been increased to once a week. According to coyne Feg, three inmates and one staff member are currently hospitalized. 12 News law enforcement analyst Colonel Stephen O'Donnell worked in maximum security at ACI in 1983. He says though it's confinement, there's still plenty of people coming and going who would increase the chance for spread. They have to be fed, they have to be looked after. There's a whole bunch of things that kind of snowballs from some type of virus like this running through a prison. Rhode Island Center for Justice advocates for prisoners in the state. Staff attorney Natalia Friedlander says that ACI prisoners in minimum security with good behavior should have days shaved off their sentence. The best way to prevent and contain virus spread is by reducing the number of incarcerated individuals. Coin Feg says she only has the power to release someone to home confinement and that the rules are extremely strict when it comes to eligible prisoners. Really the entity that can deal with um, affecting the release of inmates once they're sentenced is the courts. Department of Corrections doesn't have a current active number of COVID cases at the prison. I reached out to the Department of Health about ACI, but they were unavailable for comment. Reporting live, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.